uh, we are starting the class actually um, today um, uh, we will discuss on a uh, uh, very particular uh, topic uh, that is known as operating system uh, in your computer application syllabus uh, if you see the if you go through the syllabus then you will find uh, that uh, there is a topic known as operating system now uh, since uh, we are uh, not going into very uh, very technical details but uh, we have to go through we have to get an uh, overview uh, that how uh, operating system works what is operating system most primarily <coughs> how it works, uh, what are the different components of operating system, uh, why it is needed, and uh, what are the different types of operating systems currently available in the market, uh, and uh, this, 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 these things actually. I mean, uh, we have to try, we will try to find out the answers of these questions, okay. That is what is operating system, why it is needed, and all these things, okay. Uh, so, uh, Mm, let's start. Uh, uh, first of all, if you see, uh, if you think, uh, all of you are uh, user of uh, either one operating system. All of you. All of you. There are different kinds of operating system. I'll come to that. But all of you uh, are users of one, either one operating system. Uh, where? Uh, actually, it is there in your mobile phones. I believe that everybody um, have uh, everybody have their mobile phone. Everybody has their mobile phone. So uh, in the in the and, and uh, most of them, I suppose, have a, a smartphone kind of mobile phones. Even if it is there is no smartphones, then also in the uh, normal feature phones, that small phone what we, we use uh, previously, and there are also some operating systems runs. Uh, knowingly or unknowingly, we are using we are user we are, we are the user of the operating system in our phones. Uh, so basically, um, generally in today's world, if we see, uh, we generally use uh, um, operating system in our mobile phone like Android operating system or maybe uh, IO, iOS uh, that is uh, made by Apple uh, or maybe uh, some other Windows operating systems, uh, which is there in our mobile phone. Now, have you ever uh, uh, thought that uh, why this operating system is important? I mean. Uh, what is the functionalities of this operating system? Uh, what it help? How it helps us? Uh, have you ever think? I mean, uh, I'm I'm asking some question. I, I want some view from yourself. I mean, uh, I want that this class should be interactive class. Uh, so, uh, what do you think? I mean, <coughs> why operating system is important for your mobile phone? That is my question. Is okay. Whatever mobile phone you are using. Maybe it is picture phone, maybe it is smartphone, maybe it is made by Apple, maybe it is made by somebody, something else, some, some other organization, some other companies. So uh, my question is, uh, what do you think? Why operating system is needed in your mobile phones? Uh, uh, can anybody answer me? I mean, anybody. And uh, this is not a, this is an interactive session. You don't have to worry about that. I will uh, mark something or like that or not to worry that I'm really bully bully I'm a bond to the husband just on the interaction for cheap to so it can do one because it's anti chai Jay what do you think that uh, why it is needed anybody please answer me because the corner genius key control for a gene actor systematically proper with a cage in your new operating system okay okay so uh, according to you you are saying that <coughs> that uh, we need to control a particular uh, system so for that we need a particular mechanism uh, through which you can control that system so that is why operating system is important I'm taking your answer but um, uh, try to answer these questions I mean everything whatever interaction you will make and try to do it in English that will be better but okay thank you you have uh, you come and you uh, participate Anybody else? Sir, because it has more advanced features. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you mean uh, operating system has more advanced features? Yes, sir. 
Uh, no, my answer, my question is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, and this is partially true. You are right, partially true. But uh, my uh, question was like, why operating system is important? I mean, um, that is <coughs> obviously it has some features. Yeah, tell me. Well, without operating system, we can't up operate our phone. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Why? Why do so? Why? Why it is so? So, uh, we need something to perform an action, and uh, to perform the action, we need some operating uh, system. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, I think. Okay, good, good try, good try, good try. You are right, you are right. You are not wrong. I'm not saying you are wrong. Anybody is not. Nobody is wrong, actually. Okay, you are right. Uh, anything else? I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I am, I, I am finding for some new. Uh, point a new aspect from your end anything anything more yeah please i mean participate everybody class e thakle mane mukhamukhi class hole ami mukh gulo dekhte pai tokhon amra bujhte pari je ke ki korche ke ki bhabche ekhane amra dekhte pacchi na shei jonno interaction ta khub joruri so please anybody else have any any view because everybody you are user of the mobile phone everybody you are user of so everybody you are user of the any, any one of the operating systems so you should answer i mean you, sh you should answer this particular very basic question i asked that is um, why it is important i mean for the mobile phones i am not going for asking it for for the computer or for other systems i am only asking for mobile phone because as you are all you are user of the mobile phone whatever so basically all of you are right uh, okay one minute huh? my, my one my, my call is coming Hello, yeah one minute Yeah, sorry. Uh, so, uh, what I was saying uh, that. Uh, uh, you know, operating system is basically, uh, in technical terms, we we are, we call it uh, as a resource manager. Okay, uh, operating system ke, amra in technical terms we call it resource manager. Now, why it is known as resource manager? Uh, if you think, if you think in a particular device, be it mobile, be it computer system, be it any other system which is controlled by computer. Like uh, nowadays, there are lots of uh, systems are uh, controlled by computer or computerized system. What you can say, uh, every every single component of that devices, every single component of that devices uh, are its resource. Okay, for example, take your mobile phone. There is a screen where you get the display. So that is a that is a that is a that is a particular resource to that mobile phone because resource means anything useful. So the uh, monitor, the the screen of the mobile phone is the use, useful thing for the monitor because that is the output output per, um, uh, device you can say of your mobile phone. So that screen is a resource. Uh, the charging port from where you are uh, uh, charging it, that is a resource. Uh, in your mobile phone, there is some kind of memories. So those memories are resource. Uh, uh, your mobile is, it has a it has a uh, uh, electronic circuit board. That is a resource. Your mobile has a battery. That is a resource. Your mobile has a maybe one or two uh, or more than two uh, that what we call camera. So that is another resource. So all these are resources. Okay, to the mobile phone because all these are useful component to the mobile phone for the mobile phone, right? Uh, 
Now, when all these things are working together as an unit, when all these things are working together as an unit, uh, you are getting some set of facilities from that particular mobile phone. What you are, what you are looking for, right? That means what I am to say. Uh, you want to you want to get so you want to get some um, uh, some kind of outputs, some kind of uh, performance from your mobile phone. Some kind of performance from your mobile phone. Uh, so, so uh, I mean, uh, for this, your mobile phone has to work as an unit. So, when mobile phone is working as an unit. And there are lots of components are involved. Uh, so the thing is, uh, I mean, uh, you need some control mechanism for your system. You need some control mechanism for your system. Okay. So, so that's why we call uh, operating system as a resource manager. Okay. That's why you call operating system as a resource manager. It is a resource manager to the system okay now uh, you see operating system as you told also operating system is a very very vital part of the computer and it's a software operating system it's a software more specifically as per our last class operating system is a system software it is a system software more specifically if you see operating system is a system software so uh, uh, you can say without an operating system uh, your computer is useless without an operating system your computer is useless you cannot use it further because uh, even if even if uh, without an operating system your mobile phone is also useless you cannot use it further i mean you have everything like you have your um, in your mobile phone maybe it is a um, very very costly mobile phone you have bought um, uh, which have everything but operating system so your mobile phone will not work because all these components will be bound together will be worked together when it when it will work it will work when there will be an operating force and that operating force that operating mechanism is operating system so uh, a very basic thing about operating system we can say that it is an interface interface means through which we are interacting okay so it's an interface between computer user I can, here actually we are concentrating more on computer operating systems uh, as it is computer application but it is true for the mobile phones also okay so uh, uh, maybe always it is not mentioned as mobile phone and computer but you can uh, take it as mobile phone as well okay so basically operating system it's an interface between a computer user and the computer hardware uh, so what are the hardware? the hardware is your memory is your uh, circuit boards and all that is your hardware and uh, that is an interface that means through which a computer user is interacting with the computer hardware is known as operating system because uh, hardware cannot uh, directly interact with the computer user uh, we need some interface we need some uh, intermediary uh, uh, component uh, through which we can interact we means the computer users okay like, like right now i am using a computer my computer my laptop to teach you uh, and here, uh, 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 in my laptop, there are lots of hardware, uh, and there is a operating system which is providing uh, an interface through which I am accessing other application softwares like Zoom and like uh, uh, maybe your browsers, uh, so that I can I can take this class. So you can understand that I cannot directly interact with my <coughs> computer memory. I, I am not managing computer memory right now. My computer is managed by a particular by a particular operating system. Okay, by a particular operating system. Uh, uh, my my screen my screen is managed by a particular operating system. Uh, this communication this network communication is managed by my operating system. I'm not managing it. I'm just using it. <coughs> and to manage this, my operating system is accessing the computer hardware because. আমাদের যদি আমি শুধু সফটওয়্যারটা থাকতো তাহলে সেটা তো সম্ভব না সফটওয়্যারটাকে থাকার সঙ্গে তার সঙ্গে হার্ডওয়্যারও থাকতে হবে সো দ্যাটস দ্য থিংস 
so it's an interface so it's an interface uh, which provides lots of parts lots of operations lots of operations like we call it file management because we have different files in our operating system in our computer rather files uh, i mean uh, where we we keep our uh, informations so those are files so file management as i told you memory management now in our systems everything is termed as a process so like right now i can tell you that this is a zoom process running and through this zoom process we are interacting so this zoom process should be managed by somebody and that is operating system again uh, uh, handling the input and output that means whatever input i am giving this right now i am inputting voice right, right now i am providing voice input to my system because i am talking to you uh, so this is a voice input that is being handled by my operating system again the output that the screen what you are getting uh, that is also managed by the operating system and next control peripherals controlling the peripherals and now uh, um, peripherals uh, uh, like uh, my mouse like my uh, maybe my uh, keyboard uh, uh, any devices basically any devices what is attached to my computer like disk drives that means hard disk and all that printers everything basically all these things are managed by the operating system uh, so i think uh, you have got some idea already about the operating system uh, and now uh, uh, if i to uh, mention some of the very popular name of the operating systems i will i will uh, uh, name like uh, uh, linux linux is a very popular operating system uh, windows uh, mac operating system there are lots of others operating system windows operating i i have already i mentioned windows uh, there are lots of other operating systems as well so uh, very popular sir uh, linux windows mac these are okay now how much popular it is and what i will come to that but um, before that um, i want to mention a uh, uh, formal definition a formal definition of the operating system uh, that is um, you see it is written in red color Uh, that is an operating system is a program that acts as an interface between the user and the computer hardware and controls the execution of all kinds of programs so you see uh, operating system is basically a program we know that software are programs because it's a set of instructions uh, which is given by the user again or maybe the programmer uh, who who has written this program so an operating system is a program that acts as an interface what i told you that is a, uh, a mechanism through which we are interacting so interface between user and the computer hardware now when i am mentioning i am mentioning user uh, all of us are user all of us right now you are also the user i am also the user <coughs> who are who is using this particular system Uh, so i uh, so interface between the user and the computer hardware and controls the execution of all the programs all the programs means like my browser program like my zoom process like my um, uh, this monitor maintaining process like my memory management process all these are programs basically all these are processes so if you if you if you see the picture given um, in the picture you see at the bottom layer <coughs> there are hardwares and in the hardware there are cpu ram input output devices input output devices you know keyboard mouse these are input devices your monitor is the output devices printer is the output devices so all these are hardware okay and uh, and the top you see at the top of this picture there are users okay so user means we are the users now in between user and hardware there is software okay in between user and hardware there is software now you see Uh, software sir uh, several types mm, you know that software sir several types mainly system software and application software and operating system is though it is coming under system software still it's a very specialized system software uh, very specialized because operating system provides you the interface provides you the base uh, through which uh, your other softwares can interact with the hardware okay so that's why um, uh, operating system is there in the software section and on top of the operating system there are two types of uh, softwares are installed that is system software and the application softwares now you will know uh, in the last class we have seen what are the system softwares and what are the application softwares mm, and finally 
um, on the top of these there are users uh, and these users are interacting these users are interacting uh, uh, with the uh, with the <coughs> with the computer via the software uh, where this operating system is providing the base for it okay so that is basically the definition of the operating system uh, so if your question comes what is operating system so you have to define it and you have to uh, give this particular picture okay that will give you a better marks right uh, now uh, as i was telling you that uh, there are uh, several jobs there are several functions of an operating system now what are those functions and the functions are this given in uh, several colors actually i have i have uh, uh, make several colors to uh, concentrate uh, i mean uh, to indicate the importance of these functions now memory management is very very important uh, function uh, uh, which is done by the operating system then processor management is another very important thing device management that means what are the devices are there in your computer so device management then is file management then is uh, security security to the operating systems i mean operating system provides security of the computer uh, not only computer to your mobile phones as well as i told you all these are applicable for your mobile phones system also uh, next is control over system performance that means how your system is performing uh, based on that um, if your system is not performing well uh, so based on that diagnosis the problem and rectify that problem is also a very important function of the operating system uh, next is job accounting that means what the what are the processes are running okay uh, those processes what are the processes are running uh, so uh, the processes like uh, i mean there are several processes like uh, uh, memory management is a process uh, device management is another process file management is another process you are you are getting this uh, we are interacting we are sort of running several processes in a, uh, right now if you see in my system there are maybe uh, maybe hundreds of processes are running right now so all these processes uh, are known as job uh, in other terms and those jobs should be controlled those jobs should be counted those jobs should be uh, job should meet some um, some some uh, some uh, feedbacks and all that everything so that things are known as job accounting mechanism in in operating system which is part which is a very one of the very uh, major function of the operating system next is error detecting error detection if some error occurs if some error occurs if some uh, error nears malfunction uh, if some uh, program which is getting some error so those error detection is uh, is another very important um, aspect of the operating system and uh, next is uh, suppose on the coordination between the software and the users what i told you uh, every time your operating system is the very responsibility of your operating system to to maintain this coordination between the softwares and the users so all these are the very important functions very important functions of the operating system okay uh now <clears throat> if i come a um, little more a uh, little more uh, inside i mean of these functions so very important function as i told you memory management now you know uh, your computer has uh, different kinds of uh, memory uh, your computer has primary memory your computer has secondary memory uh, so uh, maintaining all the types of memory maintaining all the types of memory is the responsibility of the uh, operating system all the types of memory now uh, suppose at some point if at some point your um, uh, memory is uh, short if it is happen that at some point your memory uh, is short uh, but still you need to run your computer system so your operating system will try to control that thing okay it happens some several times it happens uh, so your, at that time your computer uh, system will uh, i mean uh, will take over the charge i mean your operating system will take over the charge and it will try to manage that that particular situation similarly as i told you process management in the process management there are different terms maybe you can get but you don't need don't need to go into the detail like um, we call it process scheduling process scheduling is a particular term uh, what is the meaning of scheduling scheduling means um, the routine 
um, the routine uh, uh, when what will happen that kind of thing right like 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 uh, in your like your class routine your class routine you know that every uh, thursday i generally took class and take classes every thursday uh, uh, at 9 am for uh, with the with the bba first year uh, alpha batch so that's a schedule that's a schedule that's a class schedule so everybody everybody of bba first year alpha they know uh, that i take classes at this time generally so uh, similarly uh, when uh, there are several processes running in your computer system uh, so your computer system should have some routine again i'm telling you whenever i'm uh, um, uh, saying computer system you add mobile phone also with it okay so um, uh, so so when there are several processes are running in your system uh, you need uh, a, a particular routine uh, by maintaining that routine uh, your your system your processes will run so that is basically process scheduling uh, and with this process scheduling uh, obviously there are uh, process scheduling means actually ekhane jeta hoy seta hocche eta je several jobs they are executed by the processor but still i don't want to make it uh, much more difficult for you you don't need much more uh, uh, inside story of this thing this is a purely technical thing uh, but the thing is processor management means uh, processor that means your cpu how your cpu is running several programs that is the that is the main thing that is the thing that is the that is known as processor management okay and you know uh, in our computer right now our our systems are multi programming our systems are multi programming our operating systems are multi programmed operating systems multi programmed operating system means theoretically <coughs> more than one processes theoretically again i am concentrating on this term i am repeating this term theoretically uh, more than one processes can run at the same time Uh, by your processor theoretically practically it is not possible theoretically uh, more than one process are getting cpu at the same time and and uh, more uh, specifically if i to say uh, then uh, multi programming means uh, there will be more than one programs uh, present in your ram at the same time again i am repeating you can write it down multi programming means more than one programs are there more than one programs are present in your ram at the same time that is basically multi programming is uh, pure technically if you see uh, that is basically multi programming is now when uh, in your ram there are more than one programs so that means those programs are ready to uh, run by the processor okay now as processor is a single entity it cannot run more than one processes at the same time so processor will choose one of those programs from the ram and it will run it will be run okay so that is basically uh, the story of the processor management right mm. again i am telling you you don't have to go to into the very details you just you have to know that what is processor management uh, in a in a abstract way okay so that is basically a processor management and that is written here all these things are written here uh, next in the same way this is device management again there are lots of devices those devices need to be controlled and that is basically done by the device management thing next is file management as i told you there are several files are there and those files are i mean files means uh, where we keep our information in our system and uh, a similar kind of um, uh, information is kept in a file okay so those files management is also needed because there are lots of files um, maybe crores of files are there in a system okay next other activities like security providing security to your system or uh, control about the system performance uh, maybe job accounting as i told you error detection and coordination all these are basically uh, different functions of the operating system okay so now uh, i want to uh, take some very quick uh, feedback from you and that uh, uh, do you have any problems uh, here i mean uh, up to this uh, what we have uh, seen Uh, uh like the functions or in the uh, other part what i have uh, discussed with you jodi ei obdi jodi tomader kono point thake kono bujhte na paro erokom jodi kichu thake so please tell us tell me uh, starting from the definition why i am calling operating system as a resource manager uh, so this is at the very basic point what you have to understand okay so tell me
Yeah. Do you have any question? Are you getting me, students? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, do you have any questions? I think you should have some question. We should talk. I mean, uh, have you got it? I mean, why? Uh, if I ask you that, why operating system is known as resource manager? What will be your answer? Anybody of you can answer it. I mean, again, I'm telling you this is an interactive session, interactive class. There is nothing to be like that. So please tell me. Why we can say operating system as a resource manager? Okay, what are the resources of our system? On code, please answer. On code, Shah. Yes, sir. Yeah. What are the resources of our system? Anybody else can answer this question? What are the resources of our system? Computer system, more specifically? Nobody? Okay, so you have not got this point. I mean, I have, I have told you about this. What are the resources? Nobody has got this point. Okay, no problem. I'm again uh, uh, repeating this thing in my next session. Uh, you come to the next session, join the next session quickly. I will repeat it. Okay. Join this next session quickly <coughs> within five minutes. Okay. I'm giving you the next session.